Mr Orwell, what can you tell us about the new book? I do not like talking about books before they're written, but I will say that it is a novel about the future. It is, in a sense, a fantasy. One wants to live, of course. Indeed, one only stays alive by virtue of the fear of death. But I think now it is better to die violently and not too old. People talk about the horror of war, but what weapon has man invented that even approaches in cruelty some of the commoner diseases? Natural death, almost by definition, is something slow, smelly and painful. Of course, I don't know you very well, but it seems to me that this latest illness has changed you. Do you agree? Yes, isn't it awful? I've got some more false teeth and a little grey in my hair. Actually, I wasn't referring to physical changes. I was talking more about your attitude towards your book. Have you A noticed... long illness, when one is weak and without appetite, but without being actually feverish or in pain, one gets the impression one's brain is quite normal, one's thoughts just as active as ever. It's only when one attempts to write that you realise the deterioration that has happened inside your skull. Your thoughts, when you have them, are just like your thoughts at any other time. But as soon as they're reduced to some kind of order, they turn into badly expressed platitudes. In which case, why carry on? Such a good idea. Couldn't possibly abandon it.